Boom Shaglaka, today is an extremely important day for Bitcoin. And why data suggests that Bitcoin has been in a one and a half year correction since April, and it's nearly over. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at why today is an important day for Bitcoin. A bunch of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And why the one and a half year downtrend is likely at an end. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push the like button and let's get into it. Fear and greed, 22, say no more. Entire market up 1%, Bitcoin at 19,331. Ethereum at 1344, BNB at 273, XRP 45 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Solana $28, and Dogecoin 5 cents. And Bitcoin has been in this downward wedge for many a month. And if we take a look right now, it is batting up against the top of that, potentially breaking out within the next couple days. But that being said, people are pretty darn pessimistic. Small speculators are extremely bearish on the S&P 500, the lowest levels ever. If we take it to look at times when levels were similarly low, a lot of times they were towards the bottom. Sometimes they were not, but a lot of times they were towards the the bottoms. However, if we take a look at corporate insiders who know a little bit more about what's going on than the retail speculators, well, while retail is buying record puts, corporate insiders are stacking up on the S&P 500. Similar to what happened after the bottom in the COVID bottom back here after the 2008 mess was all cleared up, they're buying, they're buying once again, suggesting that things may be turning around pretty soon. As a matter of fact, capitulation is here. The Bitcoin total supply and loss 30 day moving average is now at its second highest level ever. The last time it was higher was during the absolute bottom in 2019. Previous times when it was similarly this low were the COVID bottom and also the low in 2015. And this one metric right here, the Bitcoin adjusted SOPR, when it puts in its lows, Bitcoin goes on massive runs. We can see after this low, massive run. After this low, massive run. Well, we just had another low put in. Could this be the final low before a massive run? Well, we'll have to see. Right now, there is a big Bitcoin move imminent. Bitcoin volatility is close to hitting an all-time low. You can see we are right here. All-time low was right there. Very, very close. Now, after it reached that all-time low, price crashed. But other times when it was similar to where it is right now, Bitcoin went on a massive run, so we may see it going down. We may see it going up. Kind of difficult to say, but if we compare Bitcoin right now with where it was last year, we can see with the RSI right here, the price momentum in indicator, uh, the Kappa curve demonstrates similar pattern as in 2021. We had a widening megaphone and then a decreasing one. And same exact thing happening now. Well, what happened after the last time was a nice price boom. Right now, if we take a look at the power law model with the real plan c and paul wall paul well we take a look at this and between 12,000 and 21,000 is a great place to get entrance into bitcoin to get in stack your sets dollar cost average and then between 85 and 145 would be the place to exit to take your money out of bitcoin so right now we are in the accumulation mode fair value of bitcoin right now forty six thousand dollars if you buy below there that's a pretty good price to get Bitcoin right now, we have the megaphones, Bitcoin megaphones, three taps and go. We have one, two, three taps and go. One, two, three taps and go. We have this megaphone, one, two, three taps and potentially go, especially as November 2nd, the Fed is planning to have some announcements. Could they ease up on inflation? Well, maybe. Right now, the Bitcoin PPO rhyme, the price, the Bitcoin price oscillator. A momentum indicator similar to MACD, but when it's reaching the top here, these were tops in Bitcoin's price. When it's reaching the bottom, guess what? Bottoms in Bitcoin price. Right now we are in the bottom. The rhyme of the monthly PPO shows us the possibility of bottoming of Bitcoin. And it could just be that Bitcoin's repeating once again because we have this nice bullish trend and then it breaks through. We have accumulation and takeoff. We have a nice bullish trend, breakthrough, accumulation, and takeoff. We have a nice bullish trend, breakthrough, accumulation, and then takeoff follows bitcoin just repeating itself yet again nobody wants to believe that bitcoin goes in cycles it repeats itself every time but apparently it does the 350 day moving average indicator can tell you a lot basically we bounce off of this red bottom and then bounce off of the blue bottom 
before we take off to the top line? Well, we've bounced off the bottom red line. We've bounced off the blue line. The red line right now is $80,000, very similar to what we saw in, where is it? This chart right here, eighty dollars to $145,000, which brings us to this last piece by Tech So mark is either impulse or correct. Only the degrees change. The data suggests Bitcoin has been in a one and a half year correction since April of 2021, the first peak that coincided with the Pi Cycle top indicator, and that this one and a half year correction is nearly over. Now you don't have to agree, that's why it's a market. But if we take a look, the two month super trend flips red, suggests bottom. Two week RSI channel bottom, suggesting bottom. Two week TSI sub zero convergence, suggesting bottom. Weekly EMA structure and crosses, suggesting bottom. Nupple structure, suggesting bottom. One year plus HODL wave, 200 day ROC, suggesting bottom. All of these indicators suggesting the bottom is in and there's only upward to go. And if a lot of these retail traders get stuck on the wrong side, it's going to cause massive FOMO, going to cause massive up movement of Bitcoin and every other investment vehicle. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. <laughs>